Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of the Geek Index Gamers Cast. As we are now on episode eight zero zero eight. Um, I'm your host Anke, and joining me, only one person this week, the prettiest of them all, Gabe. What's up, guys? Unfortunately, the wild card Derek could not make it this week due to family emergency. Hope everything's working out with him for him right now. Yeah, well, let's but, see. Uh, we'll do what we do. We do what we do. And unfortunately, this is Gabe's last week. This is my last week, Well, guys. in person. We're going to try to figure out if he could do it over the interwebs. Well, take, oh, well, I leave on the 12th, so we could probably squeeze in like one one more on Well, Tuesday. it could be a special episode because remember, yeah. this is every two weeks. Oh, uh, true, 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 true. Um, I mean, we we could see what we could do. We'll figure out something. Yeah, we'll, we'll we could do something. a going away podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Hate you uh, guys. <laughs> uh, wow. I don't like goodbyes, man. Yeah, I know. Well, it's not even goodbye, man. You're leaving and you're going to. It's not like you're gone for good. You're going to come back. You're going to talk to us on Curse and Skype. Nah, I'm going to go. I'm going to leave for good. You're going to be on Curse or Skype like every other fucking day. Probably. <laughs> you're going to be playing League of Legends with half our people. Everything will be too. good in the end, anyways. The only thing is when we go, like, hey, Gabe, want to come out for. Lo- oh. Nope. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. Um, all right, enough being a dick. All right, all right. What have you been playing recently? Um, as, as you guys know, we always start off with what we've been playing. What I've been playing recently? Let's see. I have been haven't been changing much. Still a little just, more, just, a little more like Hearthstone. League and Hearth, the Hearthstone. More Hearthstone than, than League, League, actually. Okay. Lately, I could see that. More you've been you've been on your phone all the time just playing this oh, fucking game. Oh, this, this, <laughs> this is addicting, man. I, I can't I can't say no to it. And I know when your birthday passed just a few days ago, you're like, I hope people give me them cards. <laughs> oh, well, I ended up buying cards for myself, and nobody <laughs> <laughs> nobody bought me any cards. So I'm just like, oh well. Oh man, for me, as for me, I got Sleeping Dogs. I own Did it. You already have it. Maybe? I already own it on PC, but I got uh, it, the definitive edition for uh, PS4 that comes with all the DLC. Uh, Mind you, I got all the DLC on the PC version, anyways. That's such a waste. Uh, hold on. Okay, let's hear it. Because I bought it used. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And I beat the living shit out of this game. Like I platinum the game in like four or five days. Wow. Didn't play it full day every day either. Mm-hmm. I played for like six or eight hours. Nice. Because I was like, hey, I'm recovering from Otakon. I deserve a week. Nice. And uh, th- th- that's, this is all I was doing, playing the Sleeping Dog. <laughs> and I unlocked the Platinum, and I'm just like, kind of done with this shit. It was less than seven days in GameStop's policy. Hey, seven days, you can return this shit. You returned it? So I returned it. All right. That's worth it. And then I was that's like, worth it. and then I was like, and then yeah, the worst part was like, he was like, hey, is there was there something wrong with the game? I was like, nah, man, I just couldn't get into it. <laughs> <laughs> I just, well, well now now if he actually listens to our podcast now he knows now he knows <laughs> yeah i don't even care it was too funny <laughs> i mean i put that in, like so that goes on to my next thing where right. i use that money to pre-order more games okay okay when i returned it so i pre-ordered eight or nine games for the upcoming God from damn. between now and December. Mm, you want to tell us a little about yeah, the games can, you pre-ordered? I can go down the list. Well, let's, let's, let's hear some of them. The, the, the big ones. Let's hear the big ones. They're actually all big ones. That's oh, why. They're all big ones? They're all big ones. Uh, let's, hear, let's hear two well, of your favorites. Uh, two of your favorites. Two. Well, see, this one I was about to... I was going to go in order because this, I wasn't going to go description. I was just going to list them off. Okay, let's, uh, let's hear them then. Until Dawn. And okay. I was just going to make a special mention of this one because have you played Heavy Rain or Indigo yes. Prophecy? Yes. It's like one of those type of games. Ooh. So, so, like, so I'm pretty much on the same lines of Fahrenheit, yeah, Indigo, yeah, yeah. Heavy Rain. No, no, no. Here's the issue. Uh-huh. It's not by the same company. It's not by the same company. But it's that type of game. Ah, uh, well. They and have it's a, and it's like it's a horror game. It's a horror well, they story. Have big, they have big shoes to fill then. Yeah, I, like that's why I'm like, you know, that's why I was like, this might be my top pick for right now. All right, all right. But all right. like. Obviously, my number one pick for this uh, season has to be Metal Gear Solid. Oh, of course. Which comes out in four weeks. Ooh, one more month. And then uh, after that, I pre-ordered Mario Maker. Mm-hmm. Rage Fest is going to be real with all our friends. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make the most bullshit levels and piss everybody off. That's the only well, reason I'm going to get it. Would have to be it. completable. Oh yeah, but I'm gonna make him so that you have to. It's gonna be like Demon Souls, bro. You gotta oh let. You gotta, God. you gotta live and learn. <laughs> you gotta oh die and my learn. God. Die I and learn. <laughs> Um. After that, I'm only getting one game in October, okay. Uncharted. Of course. Um. Then I pre-ordered Battlefront. Mm-hmm. Of course. 
Um, then the other remaining titles are all Wii U titles <laughs> and one more PS4, Just Cause 3. I'm iffy about that. Uh, yeah. I'm iffy about that. I love 2, but like I'm not even so sure about this one yet. But beyond that, I pre-ordered Xenoblade Chronicles. For, for, the, Xen- for the Wii? Yeah, the okay. Wii U, the new the one Wii coming U? out. Okay. And then the next two don't have a release date. I just pre-ordered them. You just pre-ordered them. But anyway. they, it's by confirmed by Nintendo coming out this year. Okay. So I was like, if it's coming out this year, there's only a few more months left. Yeah, so no, I was like, well. yeah, exactly. But I don't know if it's gonna happen. We've seen nothing of it. Uh, Ooh, what is it? It was Star Fox Zero, the new Star Fox <laughs> game, <laughs> oh, okay, which okay. we which we did get a full trailer and like yeah, we did, stuff. We did, oh. we did. Um, and the new Mario Tennis game, because I love Mario sports games. Mario They're, Tennis the, is fun as hell. Mario Tennis, Mario Golf, all the sports games. But those are what I pre-ordered for this year. Okay, Next year, okay. there's a whole different thing that we're not going to get well, to that. Well, we, we, know, we know about one of them. What is it? Division. Yep. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, all, all of us are ordering that. Can I just say that's like the only game I got pre-ordered for next year. <laughs> we, all, we all are like, hey, Division, we have to get it. We're all playing it. It's the only game I pre-ordered for next year because I was going to pre-order Final Fantasy and uh, Kingdom Hearts, but I'm like, I'm going to wait until they're like, yeah, exactly. Why? Because there's no reason to pre-order yet. There's not even a release date. Mm -hmm. I don't pre-order anything until I know there's a release date, Uh but that's why it's weird I pre-ordered Star Fox, but Uh Nintendo said this this winter, this Uh holiday, Uh so I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. So pretty much this winter. So November, December. I I don't know. Nintendo's been sketchy, you know, with that stuff. They said the same thing with Zelda, remember? They were like, that hey, 2015, and now it's like 2016. That is true. They could change it last minute. Pikmin did the same thing years back. That is true. So we'll see. But, yeah, man, I'm souped. I'm hyped for these games. Yeah, I'm hyped for Division. I already, like, did all the calculations. Uh-huh. I just paid for 330 dollars worth of games. There's a whole system right there. I could get an X-Bone. Yeah. <laughs> that's the whole system right there. Just get an X-Bone, man. And I was thinking of getting an X-Bone during Black Friday, but that's a whole different well, thing. Well, I'm going to probably get a PS4 really soon before I leave. So now in four days. Is soon. Well, well actually, now in a couple of days. Actually, if anything, I should order it and let it ship to Yeah, you could do that too. That would be easier for me, right? It really depends. Because depends interna- in international shipping. Well, but either that or I have to bring it myself. Yeah, but you can just put it in your luggage. Yeah, but I have other stuff I have to put in my luggage. Ooh. Don't forget, I'm moving for work. That means I'm moving my life there. Yeah, but you got, you got your little laptop bag. Okay. You got all your clothes. Yes. Ooh. Seven years worth of clothes, not very little, plus all the stuff I have. You don't need to bring seven years worth. Well, no, but like, what about all the stuff I have? Put them in a box and put them in storage. I'm not going to bring it back with me? You're gonna come back here, trust me. You're coming back to America. <laughs> wow. They, they, see, 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 guys. They don't even want me to stay there. They're, they're just like, you're coming back. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody's been telling you that, right? The, like, everyone like, has. I don't know they're, why. They're like, you're gonna come back. I don't know why. Because everyone you're gonna w- miss us. You love us. I hope you guys <laughs> miss and love me as much as you think I miss and love you. <laughs> I hope it's like a a two way streak, not like a one way system right here. Nah, man. Trust me. You're gonna come back. Well, you might like not come back like maybe not permanently, but you're gonna come back to visit often. So you can always take clothes and like that's, you know. That's, that's a lot of money, man. Like that's mm-hmm. like. What? Come back. Well, you said you're gonna back? no, but you said you're gonna come visit once in a while, right? Well, once in a while. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I'm saying. You bring shit for us from Thailand, and you take some of your old shit back with you. Well, we have to. Hey, let's see. Oh, well, if you're gonna do that, we're gonna have to have like a little like talk. When when I want stuff, and I'm in Thailand, you're gonna have to ship stuff to me too. You know, I already made that promise to you for games. Yes, games, Black Friday. <laughs> Hold the fuck on, Black Friday. <laughs> hey, man, like, sometimes I want stuff from Black Friday, man. I'm just going to get you regular price and be like, you owe me this much. <laughs> I would be like, you're bullshitting. <laughs> no, I'm just going to be like, yo, Black Friday deal, man. You save one cent. <laughs> I'll be like, I want to see this receipt. Then. <laughs> yeah, I will give you the receipt and it's going to be full price. <laughs> On Black Friday, that's highly unlikely. Uh, you never know. All right, we're going on a tangent. Yeah, yeah, we are. Let's get, let's get let's, back. Let's go to let's go, let's to, to, let's go to some news. Yeah, yeah, we didn't even start it yet, so yeah. let's start the news. Um, since uh, I had all of it in a document like I usually do, file got corrupted, which is sad, but it's okay. We 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 we've read it and we know oh, well, we know what uh we got a couple. I got a couple of things I remember. Yeah. Um, starting with uh, Square Enix. 
Um, you know how they have Distant World concerts? Yes, I do know. I've been so, to two. Yeah, I've been to one of them. And recently, just recent, like the last one, I think in Pennsylvania or somewhere, the composer, uh, Pittsburgh, I think, or some shit. I don't know. Whatever. Mm-hmm. He, while he was doing the his concert, the composer, not he's not even official Final Fantasy composer. We know this. He's yeah. just the composer for this uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. orchestra. Yeah. So he's like, they are remaking Final Fantasy twelve. And yeah, he he said that to the crowd, and the crowd was tweeting it and everything, and it made it online. And people were like, "Oh shit, he confirmed twelve remake." And then people were like, and then people were like, "Relax, hold on, is it a remake or a remaster?" Yeah. I'm a hundred percent sure it's a remaster, not a remake. Most likely, I would say ninety percent sure it's a remaster. Ninety, I give it a one twenty. You give it a one twenty. Yeah. I am 120% sure it's a remaster. They're not going to remake every fucking game in the world. Well, no. If they were going to do that, it would have started from 1. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they would have not started 7. They'd be like, you know what? 1. 2, yeah. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Exactly. 12 is not going to be a remake. It's no. going to be a remaster. Remastered. Because I'd be pretty upset if 12 got a remake and 10 didn't get one. And 10 just got like an HD remaster. I think 10, 12 it will be exactly like 10. In the vein, will they'll but make... But you do have to understand that 12 has a bigger fan base than 10. It, uh, uh, it's true. It's true. Uh, debatable. You know debatable. debatable. It's actually I, debatable. I still, I, I, okay. I love 10. As someone who loves 10, I still think there's more people who love 12 than 10. To be fair... You never really played 10. I know I played 10. I haven't really played 12. You I watched. finished 10, remember? I didn't play 12. I didn't. E- Did you even open up your Vita copy? No. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll say this much. I like I liked all of them. I like 10 and 12. Mm-hmm. 12 was just a little different for me because this combat system was completely different. Mm-hmm. But online-wise, it's actually... it's. You'd be pretty surprised. It's actually a mixed feeling. Mm-hmm. A lot of people do like 10. A lot of people do want a remaster of 12. A lot yeah. of people do want it. Yeah. That's why I say they're about the same. A lot of people like, you know. Okay. Well, 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 well. And to be fair, every Final Fantasy game is like its own game. It is. That is true. It is it true. Is, that is true. It is well, its own game. Well, 10 and 12 are. No, they're their I, own game. I know, but they're kind of linked. How? Isn't the. You mean 10 and 10 2? Isn't that, uh, I call that 12. No, 10 2 is a direct sequel to 10. Oh, Twelve. Well, then, we're, then we're completely talking you, about different things now. You're, co- okay. you're talking about completely okay, different well, things. 12, 12 is the... The one with the armor. The ba- Gabran. Right? Yeah. Ra- Vash the Stampede? Yeah. Vash the Stampede. Vash the Stampede. <laughs> oh my god, I am going off a tangent. Captain Bash of Dalmasca. Yeah, yeah Captain Bash of Dalmasca. <laughs> yeah. Van, uh, Vaughn. Okay. Vaughn. Vaughn. Right. Vaughn. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> 10 is a uh, Titus. Yes. Titus, T- Titus, Titus, Titus whatever you I, guys I don't give a call fuck. Um, but yeah, he confirmed 12, not 10 2. 10 2 came with 10. <laughs> like, okay, okay, okay. So, you, no, you, you, I, was, yeah. I was talking about Final Fantasy 12. Okay. Fucking, who okay, calls Final now, Fantasy 10 2 12? Now I think that 10 has a bigger fan base. Why would you think 10 2 was 12? Because, because X and then 2? No, but yeah, because, no, because uh, when, okay, when it came out, a lot of people kept calling it 12. Did they really? Yes. I always called it ten two. Hell, I didn't even make it into the. I don't know if I told the story on the podcast yet, but ten two made me so disappointed. I snapped the disc in half and threw it in the garbage. <laughs> That's how much I despise this fucking game. Well, okay, go off a tangent again. Back. But yeah, anyways, he's confirmed to twelve. Okay. People try mm. other news outlets try to like get in contact with Square Enix, and then Square Enix was like, no, 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 no we got nothing to say. That usually means they, they have They're keeping to it say. secret for yeah. a different announcement. And people thought it would be for this week because Gamescom is going on. Mm-hmm. Nothing about it. That's another big thing. Gamescom is going on this week, guys. Yeah, and uh, before uh, while we go through the rest of the news, at the very end, we're going to talk about the only two only. briefings I saw, which yeah. was Microsoft and EA, because Sony opted out this year. Yes. Um, I remember reading about that. Yeah, they opted out because of uh, they're going to do it at a different show. When they're gonna do it in um, Paris Game Week, yeah, Paris which is Game in Week. I think October, because something like that. Tokyo yeah. Game Show is November? next month, September. September. There's like one like almost every month nowadays. It's just, dude. It's just so much. Like, think I about it this remember. way: at the end of this month is Prime uh, Pax Prime. Yes. End of this month is Pax uh, Prime. But there's not gonna be a lot of for like yeah, game yeah, probably. It's, it's, that's more for like the. No, it is. 
I would say that's more for like the oh, e-sports. Oh, I mean, there's no conferences or anything. Yeah. But they no still have, it's like uh, going to E3, but without conferences. It's like, you know, yeah, like PAX like, East. like a game. Like Some a people game, do like announce stuff show. at these, but it's not done in it's a conference or anything. Yeah, yeah, it's not big or anything. But there's PAX Prime at the end of this month. There's Tokyo Game Show next month. September. Uh, September. Yeah, September. Uh-huh. October's Paris Game Week. November is... November, I think, is the only month that has... And then December is the... Ja- nothing. The, 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 the December is the Japanese one. The uh, December oh, is... Two? Yeah, and December it's Jump Fest. Yeah, yeah, that one. Jump Fest and uh, maybe Sony will do their... Uh, at Jump Fest? No, not at Jump Fest. Uh, Sony will do their PlayStation uh, fan is pre- uh Experience, yeah. experience expo thing they yeah, did. Yeah, 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 yeah. They might do that again. Uh, Wish they had a press conference there, but who knows? Uh, they bec- might. They might not. Yeah, because that conference would be extremely close to the yeah. Paris Week Game Week yeah. one. But hey, if, they, if they have the money, might as well, right? And then there's also video game awards in December, which people also announce new stuff. The VGA awards. Yeah. Okay. Uh, moving on. I think uh, another thing that was announced was. Oh, so a fir- a person accidentally got a glitch in Super Mario 64. Mm-hmm. One a new one. No one's ever seen this one. Mm-hmm. And the guy is giving a $1,000 bounty if you can recreate it and give him the file. For 64? Uh, $1,000 to recreate this. Does he give you any hints? Well, yeah, he makes a breakdown of the video like he tried doing it himself and he can't do it. That's why he's asking people to figure it out and he's giving a $1,000 bounty. Ah. Which is pretty kind of rash. I'm like, $1,000 for a glitch? Yeah. But I guess uh, it's not $1,000 is not too much when you think about it. When you have people donating to streamers. Like well, he's thousands. not. I don't even think he's that popular of a streamer. Or well, I'm whatever. just saying, when you have people who donate to streamers like thousands and thousands of dollars, I'm pretty sure uh, anyone can like just throw down $1,000 if they have extra. Right? Yeah, that's true. That's, that's, not, that's not nothing new. Uh, what's it called? Oh, let's let's give a round of applause to our to to us gamers too. We made over one million dollars worth of donations. Uh, I think a week ago. For for um, I forgot their name. The speed the speed runner uh group. Oh, the, okay. The speed runner. Yeah, I, know what I you're forgot about. their name exactly. It's pretty long. SDGA or something? Yeah, SDGA, yeah, something, something like that. that. Something like that. Something close we that. made over one million dollars, guys. That's. That's insane. <laughs> it's and that, insane. That, that event is over three days? Events over... Three or four or a couple like of days. It's like a couple days, like two, yeah. three days around. But they made like a lot of money, guys. And we all thank you gamers. Like, hey, we we seem to be like the biggest, like, the biggest uh, the donators of anything. Like we donated to, uh, what was it? Um, I think Doctors Without Borders. We donated it to Doctors Without Borders, and we Child also play. and then uh, no, the other one was um for animal animal rights. No, oh, okay. I forgot which which one exactly, but animal rights. Uh, all right. Yeah. Um. So one other thing is that uh, Zombie U was announced. Woohoo! Derek's gonna get it for every console. I think we might have mentioned this last time. I don't remember. We mentioned that it might. If we weren't sure. Well, it's been confirmed it's coming out for PS4 and Xbox One. Well, there you go. And, uh, PC. and, and PC. And PC? And PC. Interesting. Um, they are removing uh-huh. the multiplayer. It's because the multiplayer for the Wii U specifically used the gamepad. Oh, okay. So okay. It used the t- a top to down view. Oh, okay, okay. So, and then the person had his first person view on the TV. Oh, uh, so, like, okay. so you can't. So yeah. you can't do it. Unless they do it online, which they could do it online. They could, they could. But I guess they don't want to. Yeah. Um. But yeah, they. Uh. So it's coming out for PS4, Xbox One, and uh, PC. No release date has been given. Um. Five Nights of Freddy came out when we Five went Nights to Odeketa. Four. Four came out. It was, when we, it was. It was literally pushed up really early. It came out the day we went to Otakon. It. it so was the so demo came out the day we went to Otakon. And no, it, that was the full release. Thursday. That Thursday is the I thought it was like two days later they came out with the, the full release because I remember seeing the demo and then like a day or two later it was released. No, I'm pretty sure it was the full game because one of our staff members at Otakon was playing it upstairs. Okay, well, I wasn't sure if he was playing uh, the demo or playing... No, the- he's. He, I even asked him. He's like, yeah, it's the full release. I'm oh, like, oh, wow. snap. Yeah. 
So it came out while we were there. And uh, I played it. Yo, it is completely it. different than the other three in a whole. It's it's it's, it's scary. <laughs> yeah, dude, the animatronics it's are scary. fucking. Uh, like, no, you have to wa- run to the door. <laughs> now we can go in deep into the lore because let's not let's not let's not do that because not. that'll take like hours and yeah. hours. So I said we have a special I, Five Nights at Freddy podcast. I, I say that you guys definitely, if you guys are a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's, this one takes the cake. This is the last one, mind you. There this is, is the last one, but well, this one definitely takes the cake. He says it's the last one, but there's still so many unanswered questions. And it's true. But there is DLC coming out on Halloween. Mm. I don't know if you knew about that. That I did not know. Yeah, because the, remember, the game was originally supposed to come out on Halloween. Yes. People found spoilers. Yes. They found a locked box in this game that you cannot open. Mm-hmm. Probably has to do with this DLC Probably. that's coming out. There's all also, uh, I don't know if you notice when you turn around to the bed, you know where Freddy, Freddy's like little thingies are. Yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a, a flower pot that pops up randomly on the desk. Sometimes, not all the time. Sometimes. Not only that, the IV drip. The IV drip, yes. Yeah, but uh, like we said, we could get into that. Well, whole we'll get into thing. that. We'll have a whole different. Time. We'll have a whole different talk about yes, that. Yes, we'll a whole different talk. Um, also, all you Hearthstone fans. They also, if you do not know, they are releasing another, um, I would say, another uh, monster type besides Taunt, Charge, Divine Shield. It is not inspired. This time it is called Joust. I don't know if any of you have heard of it, but whenever this card is played, whenever you have a card that has Joust, both players will randomly take a card from their deck. Whichever has the highest uh, cost, highest drop count, wins. You win the joust. If you are the player with the monster that it wins the joust, you will get an effect depending on what that monster does. Either a buff, either like destruction, draw power, whatever. And this will basically should change the meta from aggression into more control. Or help the more control decks win against the aggression decks. And so a little bit about that. I don't yeah. know. I'm kid can't. Really yeah, like, no, I didn't say really anything like because say anything I was like, I don't. <laughs> I just don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, GameStop Stop has an exclusive amiibo pack coming out next month. That. It's the, called the Retro Pack. Uh huh. Comes with Duck Hunt Duck Dog, Dog uh, Game, Game and Watch, and, and Rob. Rob. Yep. Mm-hmm. Only, as of right now, it's a GameStop exclusive. I don't think you can even get them separately. No, I you think have you have to, have to get the pack together. Yeah, and I want one. You have to get it, you have to pre-order it on a specific day, which I believe is this Saturday on August eighth. Okay. GameStop is doing starting pre-orders for that on the eighth. Okay. From what I read online. If you guys want it, I suggest you guys do it quick. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure I am not going to be free on the eighth. <laughs> you should ask someone to order it for you. Hey, Gabe. <laughs> hey, man. What's good? <laughs> Uh, you can't even do it for me because if you pre-order under your name, you're fucking leaving. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. <laughs> I can't pick it up. <laughs> There's no reason for you to pre-order it here either. No, I was going to ask someone to pre-order it for me. I- I'm going to have to figure out somebody to do it. because You know what the thing Do you want all three of them or do you only want one of them? I kind of want one. Which one do you want? I kind of just want Game & Watch. Here we go. We get Jaren to pre-order it. Why? He'll take Rob. You take Game & Watch. I take Duck on Dog. All three of us are happy. Boom. Figure it out. Jaren, right, do let's, it. Let's, let's, Jaren, let's, <laughs> Jaren. let's get Jaren. Um, all right. So uh, they announced uh, a release date for Terraria for Wii. Mm. Wii U. That, that, game is, Wii. that game is actually pretty fun. Yo, it's a bit old as shit, but it is, keeps on getting like. People it's, are like just. Well, it's very, it's very. Uh, what's it called? It's very immersive. That's why. Yeah, and y- it's weird. Everybody on my playlist on Steam or whatever is starting Same. to play I'm it. And, uh, I'm just like, Same as what is starting you guys to play this game? Ankit, I think we should give it a shot. Oh, dude, I as a let's play. Oh yeah, I'm oh, definitely yeah. down to do it. Yeah. But I'm like, I'm still, I'm just, just like, why is everybody starting to play it now? Like, there has to be a reason for it now. Well, I think it's because of the popularity. It just like jumped. Out of nowhere. When when it first came out, it was popular, but it wasn't like super popular, and then it died off over the years, and then it came back out of nowhere and for no particular reason, or maybe they updated it. I don't know. Mm. But yeah, think of it like Minecraft, though. It's like Minecraft mixed with uh, I would say Binding of Isaac. 
Binding of Isaac. I love that game. <laughs> yep. That's one of my favorite games. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, so let's just move on to uh, Gamescom. Okay. Gamescom. So if you guys don't know, it's in Europe. Specifically in specifically Cologne, in Germany. Cologne, Germany. Um, so only I've there was I think four conferences in total or okay. like three. There's Microsoft. There's EA. Um, this wasn't really a conference, but it was Activision showing off Call of Duty Black Ops Three and but some new shit. Cares. I don't give a fuck anymore. Yeah. Um, and then today Blizzard did a new expansion for WoW. Didn't even watch that oh, shit. Oh yes. Uh, I, yeah, I saw that on the news too. I saw that on the news. I thought WoW was dead. I mean, they announced that like they well, lost 1.5 million subscribers. They did. They did. Like, uh, wow, WoW is losing uh, a lot of their subscribers because they're lo- literally not like up to par- They're not up to the standard anymore. There's so many other MMOs that are literally like just shitting on it, and it's sad. <laughs> I mean, it's not Humming. even shitting. It's just like. It just doesn't feel like, you know, it's too old now. People like want something new. They want something else. I mean, my friend's playing uh, the beta for the new MMO. That's like a Ragnarok type. Which one is it? Uh, Tree of Savior. I think I've heard about that. Now, this game looks... He told me the grind is real. Like, old school grind is real. Well, like like, like Ragnarok old school. Yeah, yeah. He's like like level 20-something or 30-something, he said. He's like, yo, I'd have to grind for, like a day or two to level up. I was like, that's, those are the old those days. Those are the real <laughs> grinding old days. Unless you're a party. Yeah. But like, oh, those four, I only watch Microsoft and bits and pieces of EAs. Okay. So let me go with Microsoft. Let me tell you, even Microsoft kind of did do pretty good with this conference, but they lost me halfway through it. Like, okay, through it, I was just like, eh. <laughs> and then I came back to it and I got my attention back to it. Okay. But they started off, they started off with, um, a teaser tr- video, like, you know how, like, a uh, montage video. Yeah. It was the same one from fucking E3. No different. It's the yeah. same exact goddamn one. And then a uh, CEO or president of the German division comes up on stage, starts talking in German. They have subtitles at the bottom. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, cool. He's literally on stage for all of one minute to just welcome people and introduce yeah. the, the new, C- the, yeah. no, the actual CEO and president of Microsoft uh, oh, okay. Gaming, which is Phil Spencer. Mm-hmm. And then he starts off with saying, hey, Rare, uh, rare replay. The game that has thirty of the old school rare games. Yeah. Not just old, but some newer ones too. Yeah. And one that came out today because it did come out that day. Yes. It, uh, it's thirty games in one. All old school, retro, all rare, all, rare. all not all of them. It's some of them are three hundred and sixty games, like uh, Perfect Dark Zero uh, and uh, Viva Pinata. But like, but I <laughs> there's five games in there. I would get it for just that pack. Uh-huh. Battle Toads. Oh, that Battletoads in it? Okay. Conker's Bad Fur Day. Ooh. Banjo Kazooie 1. Ooh. Banjo Tooie 2. Mm. Or Banjo Tooie. And then Perfect Dark 1. Not Perfect Dark 0. Perfect, Perfect Dark, Dark 1. one. <laughs> I would get it for those five. And if you do five times five, that's 25 bucks. If you value those games at five dollars a piece, and you get a bunch of other twenty-five games, I don't give a shit about. Yeah, you don't give a shit about. <laughs> which is, let's say they're all like three bucks a piece, you'll still make your money's worth. Yeah, and you know the thing is, there's probably another game I give a fuck about in there. I just don't give you a just, shit. There's so <laughs> yeah, many. There's, yeah. just, there's thirty games. Like, what do you want? <laughs> so after that, after sh- uh, like talking about that, they show the trailer of the game that anybody, uh, that everybody's been wanting or wanting to see more info about mm-hmm. at E3, but they're like, it's not coming to E3. Mm-hmm. It's called Quantum Break. And Quantum Break is by the creators of Alan Wake. Mm-hmm. Alan Wake's great games. Great game. Xbox yeah. exclusive. I think one of them came out on PC. I'm not 100% uh, Alan of that. Wake? Yeah. I, I don't think so, though. I think they were both three, all 360 no, exclusives, believe... right? Or one no, of them. Actually, did. I think the first one came out for PC, I believe. Well, I think one of them did. I don't know if it's the first one. I think though. it's the first one that came out for PC. Mm. Uh, anyways, they showed off a new trailer, they showed off gameplay. They showed off the cast of actors. They revealed the cast of actors. Okay. And the main actor is Sean Ashmore, mm-hmm. who, as people, if they watch the X Men movies, he's Iceman. Iceman. Uh, he is the main character of the game. So with this game, though, I don't know if you know this. I knew this from when they announced it. This show, this game, has a show in tandem with it. What? So it has a TV show also really? called Quantum That's Break. So they have a TV show, Quantum Break, and the game, Quantum Break. And, like, the game and show are, like, connected somehow. I don't know how. 
Well, we'll just wait for the internet to do that for us. And yeah, figure I mean, that out. like it's still too vague. I think uh, like Probably. we still don't know too it's much too about too early. it. Yeah, uh, I mean the game is a next year title. Okay. Um, then they uh, showed off. They didn't really show it off, but they went to Crackdown three. Okay. And I like Crackdown one, Crackdown two. I was like, all right. And Crackdown three is just like they still haven't shown me enough to be like, oh my god. <laughs> so all they showed was like. Some of the like the animation. things about the animation engine and the cloud, the all-mightiful cloud that they keep on touting. So yeah, they keep saying about that. And this cloud is in their multiplayer, and it's called and they this cloud apparently allows for one hundred percent destructibility, <laughs> which is what they showed in this video. Yeah, every like they were tearing down buildings after buildings with characters, uh-huh. like not like NPCs or. Uh-huh you know, set pieces. They were actually destroying it themselves. And this is only in multiplayer, though. Okay. Because you have to... It's the cloud. You have to be connected online to use it. Yeah. And it would suck if single player had to use that shit. Yeah. You can't play it offline then. But from what I've seen of it, obviously not too much, so I can't even say if I, like, I'm into it or anything. Well, we'll get we'll get more info as now, time progresses. Now, next game, though. Right. This one... A didn't blow my mind, but it's something I know I would play, and I know you would play it. Okay. It's called Scalebound. Scalebound, okay. It's made by Hideki Kamiya. Okay. Who is the creator of um, Devil May Cry. Yeah. He, uh, they, so it's a Platinum Games, and have you played Dragon's Dogma? Very little. It, it, very, it gives off like little. a it gives off like a Devil May Cry slash Dragon Dogma vibe, okay. where you're fighting. You know, like it's open world. Yeah, you yeah, like yeah. fight. You got like a fucking pet dragon with you, uh-huh. and like you're just fighting soldiers. You're doing combos. You command the dragon while you're fighting and shit. So it's kind of like Skyrim. Yeah, that yeah, that, that too. But it but but it's like the combat is completely different. Yeah, right? I, I assume so. But and like, the art style is completely different well, than Skyrim figured, too. But like, so that's why I didn't want to compare it to Skyrim because uh-huh. Skyrim's like you know a completely different thing. Yeah. But, but like the concept so, of you fighting, you can also summon a dragon to help you fight. Not summon, he's with you the whole time. Oh, he's with you the whole time, so yeah. definitely not like Skyrim. Skyrim, you well, well, that's the gist I'm getting, because when the gameplay started, he was already with you. Okay, okay. Uh, so you control him. Other big, like, dinosaur or, like, a dragon or whatever come, and you fight that with the dragon. Okay. Like, it's it looks interesting. It does look And then as soon as they showed that, they showed up another trailer, okay. which revealed four-player co-op. That sounds fun. And I was like, yo, four player, this shit. That now, the only fun. bad thing about while watching this was okay. the frame rate. Ooh. It was atrocious. Really? But I'm not going to say anything because the game is still over a year away. They announced it for holiday 2016. Okay. They still got a good year and a couple of months. Mm-hmm. But the frame rate was, was pretty, pretty goddamn bad. bad. Oh, well, they, they can. They, I'm pretty sure they're going to fix yeah, that. Yeah, uh, no doubt. Yeah. Uh, ho- to- hopefully the game is good, though. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, and then it's an Xbox One exclusive. Yeah, see, uh, and that's ev- everyone in our group. We only I only know one person. Well, I know two people with Xbox Ooh. Ones. One person you guys don't know, okay. <laughs> and then uh, Dan. Doesn't Matt have an Xbox One? That's too? Dan's. That's Dan's Xbox One. I think he might have got his own. I'm pretty sure they each have their own. Well, maybe he got his own now. I remember Dan just left that mats to make it easier. Well, if that's the case, then he might but not no, have his own. He could now. Who knows? It's been uh, it's been a while since we like chilled with them. Like that is true. Like hard. Um. After that, they uh. So after showing off a couple games, they went to their multimedia services. I'm like, God damn, nobody gives a shit about this. <laughs> it's called Gamescom. Yeah. Show Talk the about games. your games. Nope. They're like, Hey man, the Xbox One. That shit's a DVR now. I'm like, okay, cool. So now they're like, if you don't have a DVR box, your Xbox One is a DVR. Play games, record TV show. Boom. I'm like, that's pretty cool if I watch TV. Too bad I don't watch TV anymore. Everything. There's something I like to use called Netflix and Hulu and like a bunch of other shit. Netflix, Hulu, Crunchyroll, YouTube. Yeah. Kind of have everything there. I don't, I don't watch TV on TV anymore. Me neither. To, to even case in point. I canceled the cable over here. All I have is the internet, and uh, that's it. I don't. I don't watch. I don't. I. I don't remember the last time I watched TV. I really don't. I think the only other cool thing is that you can stream whatever you have recorded on your Xbox One to your PC. But 
to your PC? If it has Windows 10, because everything's getting no, upgraded to Windows okay, 10. Okay. But remember, Windows 10 is a free upgrade anyway. So it I already even have matter. it. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to install it later today. Yeah. But, Takes uh, a while. Does it? Takes a while. So be sure you're, you're ready to like wait a while and do something mm. else. Oh, I've, I've games. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can, if whatever, because Xbox One is upgrading to Windows 10 too. Yeah. So now you can stream whatever game you're Doesn't playing. The, didn't the PS4 have something like that already? Streaming? To Vita though. Only Vita. Only to the Vita. Okay. Now with Xbox, if you have Windows 10, you can stream your Xbox One game to your computer that's Windows 10. So now it looks like you're playing a computer game, but you ain't playing a computer game. You're playing Xbox One. I didn't <laughs> care. Because, because if I want to play an Xbox One, I'm going to play it on... Because we don't have Xbox One anyway. If, no, I might get one, but like, even then... If even when I had the Vita, I used Remote Play all of twice. Why? Because you need really good internet for it to work in the first place. Yes. I have really good internet, so it's not a problem. But I don't want to play on a tiny screen. That's true. Why would you play on a small screen when you have a big screen already? Not only that, it's a console game. Why am I going to play on a computer? If I want to play a computer game, I'll play a computer game. That is true. That is true. And like that's why I have my consoles hooked up to a TV because I'll play it on the TV and all that. Then they announced an Xbox One chat pad. They're like, oh, it goes onto your controller so you can type. What? <laughs> yeah, and they're like, yo, it's probably expensive knowing Microsoft. A chat pad? Yeah, and was PlayStation 3 had one that you put at the top of the controller, and then you can type. I didn't even know they had that. Yeah, they did. Oh, well. I mean, think about it. You, nobody <laughs> keeps on like using the D-pad and all that shit and keep on moving around to press buttons. <laughs> um, then they talked about backwards compatibility. Which is going to be free for Xbox. Xbox One, yeah, it's gonna have. Well, that's something they they stepped up besides well, P- the PlayStation. Yeah, they announced it at E3. Yeah. They confirmed the release date of November. Okay. At Gamescom, with at least a hundred titles. Nice. Being playable at launch. Nice. All right, I I I I've gained some respect back for Xbox now because of that, because I always thought that's a really big thing for gamers. Backwards, backwards compatibility. compatibility. Now, I think it would see now people complain about that a lot, but you got to remember it is really hard to do it because it's completely different system architecture. Understand, understand. That's why they do a lot of remasters. Yeah, and people get mad at that, which I do too myself. Because it's understandable. Like, but, but see, but the remasters, the issue I have with the remaster is it's a remaster of a game that just came out a year ago. That's like, also true. Like, for exa- a really big example, Last of Us. Yeah, they call it PS4 remaster. No, just release as the PS4 version. It's only a year yeah. or two. Like, no. Like, okay, I agree. The graphics for the PS4 and from the PS3 are completely different. Yes, you can see it, but, but it doesn't. The, it doesn't. It, it's it's not that that's big it. of a difference. Yeah, it's just, it's, that's it. That's it. Oh, I can see the trees better. Cool. Yeah, it's no I, reason. Now what? There's no <laughs> you're reason. Still, you're still playing the exact same game. The same yeah. fucking way. If you're going to... You can't really call it a remaster if you're just going to up it too. Yeah. You're just going to say, it's the regular game up not yeah. That's not a remaster. It's not really a remastered. And not only that, like, why do you have to ch- charge more? Or, like, you know, you got to charge weird prices for remasters. Like, some people charge 40 Good. It's yeah, not the full perfect. 60 I don't perfect. give a fuck. No, but if the PS3 version of the game is 20 why can't this version of the game be 20 Right. Or 30 at least, because I know you guys had to make it for the new system. Like I think ten dollars more can cover it. You don't need to make it twenty or uh, like forty, fifty dollars. Yeah. Anyways, I can go ba- into back. Back mode. from our ranting. Back so from our ranting. so from there, the so when the backwards compatibility comes out, okay. So does Windows Ten for the Xbox. Xbox. It also okay. comes out in November. All right. So it looks like November is their key date for a Everything. lot of this stuff, mm-hmm. which makes sense. Black Friday. Black Friday holidays, holidays Christmas. So New Year's, everything. They're playing it smart. They're like, hey, let's up the Xbox One so people want to buy, buy it. Yeah. yeah. Smart. That's a good That's a good, That's a a good. good strategy. Next, uh, they showed off. They get the Killer Instinct on stage, and they're showing Killer Instinct, and everybody's like, oh, they're going to talk about the PC version. They talked about the PC version, and they're like, season three, you, because you know how Killer Instinct works, right? Yeah. They release characters in season yeah, packs. Yeah, yeah. So they're like, yo, season three announced now. And guess what else is announced? Rash from Battletoads available. Oh, he's he's, go- he's joining Killer Instincts. I remember. Not joining. He's already in. He's he was available in? the day of the conference. Oh wow! So Rash is already in. That's cool. That's cool. Which is yeah, which is pretty fucking awesome. That is I, pretty I fucking awesome. I love Battletoads. Yeah. 
too bad we don't have Xbox One. <laughs> and then, uh, well, PC's coming out, so PC version coming out next year, so we don't need to worry about it too much. Um, ID at Xbox, which is their indie version, their indie like program. Mm-hmm. Um, they went on like a f- probably like a couple of minutes of indie stuff. I know they got the guy who made Castlevania. I uh-huh. his name. He came up on stage. Igarashi or something? He came up on... I don't know his name. I don't remember. <laughs> he came up on stage and talked something. about his Kickstarter game, Bloodstain, which already succeeded. He just talked about it and showed some stuff off. And then, like, I kind of zoned out for a bit. <laughs> and then <laughs> when I got my attention back, I continued. And the funny part is, what caught my attention? The next trailer, which was Dark Souls 3. Oh, not again. <laughs> what? Here we go again. With what? The, with the, oh, the struggles. <laughs> Hold on. With it, it was announced at E3, so hold on. <laughs> they, they just showed a new trailer. I won't. And, like, Gamecom's coverage, they showed boss battles and everything. It's well, that's why I wanted. That's why, no, that's why I'm excited. I'll, like, I'll I, show you later. All right, all right, all right. That's why I'm like, oh, because, okay, I know they, I know they announced it, but they didn't really show much. This time, we get to see actual gameplay. I want to see how, how much struggle I'm going to have to go through to try to beat these cha- <laughs> these bosses. I wish you could be Bloodborne. <laughs> Well, I'm not, I don't have enough time. Yeah, yeah, if I had I enough time, I would have. Um, they announced a new Homefront game. Now, mm. from what I understand, I thought Homefront wasn't too popular, or it wasn't. Well, from from my knowledge, it wasn't too popular. Yeah, I don't that, know that, about... that's what I'm thinking because I don't remember a lot of people going like Homefront. Yeah, but I'm not a big Homefront. I, th- I thought it was like a cult, with. like a cult classic, like a a very mm. niche group liked it, not like a lot of them. Well. They must have an, they must have had enough people to like it for them to make another one. So yeah, it's open world too. Mm. Home uh, Homefront Revolution. All right. Well, uh, we'll see how that works. Yeah. Then they went to FIFA, and then Halo, blah, 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 and then blah, Just Cause Three, blah, blah, blah. and then Forza, <laughs> and then Rainbow Six, <laughs> and then Tomb Raider, <laughs> and then finally they're ending, and then they end it on a bigger note. Not like like oh my god! They came up on stage, brought the Halo person out again. I was like, "Here's a uh, a big title coming from a uh, IP that everybody loved," and then showed off a trailer. Boom! Halo Wars two. Halo Wars two, is that that's the one that's uh, RTS? The RTS, right? Yes. I didn't think the first one did so well, did it? No, it did pretty good. It did pretty good. All yeah. right. I didn't hear much from it, so I thought it and just I like think flopped. I don't know if this one's Xbox loose. I think it might be coming out on PC too. It should. Uh, RTS usually are meant for PCs. The re- no, I'm not saying that it's not supposed yeah, 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 yeah. to. I'm not saying I'm not coming at any people who are yeah. console fans. I'm just saying that RTSs are are usually played on the PC is because a lot of uh RTSs need to be uh what's it called um Smart, uh, smart casted onto certain keys so no. you can do certain and things. I quick. completely agree with you, which is why I like I I find it weird when people are like, "Yo, MOBA coming to console," I'm like, or like that's any, that's weird. I'm a MOBA like, coming to a console, that's weird. The only MOBA I can see coming to a console would be um, Smite. Yeah, and it's already on an Xbox One. Is it? Yeah, I have to see the gameplay then. See how it's um, see how wonky it is. But see, that's a different type of MOBA. It's still a MOBA. Yeah, but that like is those type of MOBA make sense on a c- console. Actual you, top-down view ones. It's weird because you're not moving your character; you're clicking your character. To yeah, move. yeah. And this one, you're gonna actually have to move them. Yeah, which is weird. But uh, we'll, none of that. We'll, we'll see how. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. So before we end, uh, let's talk about EA and the last. We usually have a topic we discuss at the end. This ain't going to be a topic. This is going to be a beatdown. But I'll get to that in like a minute. So EA, they did their usual thing. They just went through all their sports stuff. They showed off a new gameplay trailer for uh, Mirror's Edge Catalyst. The new Mm -hmm. Mirror's Edge game. uh Looks cool. It does. I'll probably play it, you know. I would want to. I love the fr- I like the first one. It was it's not day one purchase for me, but I'll play it eventually. Eventually. But Battlefront, hell yeah. You know what they showed off? What did they show they off? They showed off a new game mode. What is this new game mode? It's airship battle. Airship battle. Oh. It wasn't in wow. space space, but it was like on the planet, but like yo, X-wing sounds, tie that fighters. Sounds, that sounds fun. That sounds X-wing, fun. X-wing tie fighter, all the airplane and then all the airplanes, all the spaceships. And then 
Han Solo and the Millennium Falcon flew through. So it looks like it's going to do what they do on the land battle. If you do pretty bad, you get the perk or what is it, death streak, they call it in Call of Duty. Uh-huh. Where if you do really shitty, they give you like some sort of boost. Yeah. So like in Battlefront, like the I think the boost is you get to become Luke Skywalker or if you get the boost somehow you become Luke Skywalker for a bit. That's cool. That's, That's in the cool. land version. So in the space version, it looks in this uh sky battles, it seems like it's gonna be Millennium Falcon for the good guys. Ah and Django Fett's the slave for the bad guys. Django Fett okay. Okay, okay. But other than that, EA's I didn't really give two shits yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, EA is EA. Like the only yeah, thing yeah, I cared about EA. EA was Battlefront, just because I'm a uh, huge I'm, Star Wars I'm, fan. I'm I'm just I'm just salty with EA a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody is. <laughs> Let me. But now let's move on to our final thing, okay. which is the discussion. Which is not going to be discussion. It's going to be a full down beat down rant of. Square Enix Final Fantasy 15 of Gamescom. Oh my god, we're doing this again? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is different. I don't know if you watched yesterday's uh, ATR no, action time report, which is, the, let me give a little background on this. Square Enix created this thing called ATR action time report mm-hmm. for Final Fantasy games or games in general. So what they do is like, they talk, so this is ATR for Final Fantasy specifically. And. Uh, it's for Final Fantasy 15. They did it for Type 0 and 15. Now uh-huh. that Type 0 is out, they've just been doing it for 15. Mm-hmm. So prior to Gamescom, like day or two before Gamescom, they released a teaser on Instagram or Twitter and just like of a new trailer coming. And everybody's like, <laughs> yes, new fucking trailer. People were like hyped <laughs> because Square Enix hyped it. They were like, Final Fantasy 15 is a no-show at uh, E3. Okay. They're like, Gamescom is going to be start the whole big media blowout. They're teasing the trailer. Everybody's like, yo, it's happening. It's coming. Release date, all that shit. It's going to fucking happen. Uh-huh. Q yesterday. Okay. They dropped the trailer at 2 a.m. Eastern time here, which is Jesus. 11 p.m. Okay. Some uh, and I'm an avid reader of NeoGAF. Uh-huh. So I've seen people posting stuff like, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to make an alarm. Wake up. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like yo, I might do the same shit. Uh-huh. I did. Okay. You woke up at 2 a.m.? I woke up at 2, uh, 2.30-ish. I woke up like oh, later. 2.30-ish, okay. And then I went back to sleep immediately after my fucking rage. Okay. <laughs> I turned on this trailer. I'm like, let's go. I'm fins for fiend. And I'm watching this trailer. It starts off interesting. It's, um, I think, Luna as a girl being okay. like about to get her ass beat up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it goes to a dog, like in the streets, like uh-huh. with soldiers and car raining and dog like sniffing or whatever for 20 seconds. <laughs> and then... This is where the rage starts going in for everybody. Mm. It goes to the scene where the main character, Noctis, as a kid, okay. and his dad holding him for a minute and a half. What? Just holding his kid for a minute and a half, moving his head towards his head, you know, like trying to hug, like, you know, hugging style, uh-huh. and him pushing his dad's face away uh-huh. because he's trying to sleep. Uh-huh. And then his dad cries, and then uh-huh. you see his subtitle, not even voice acted. Uh-huh. So you see a subtitle saying, You'll never, I'll never leave you alone. Promise. Or some shit like that. Uh-huh. And then you see like three like giant monster figures in the background. Uh-huh. This was a minute of him and a half of this fucking guy holding his son. I'm done. Dying. And people were like, what? I'm done. <laughs> yeah. I'm done. Trust me. If you, if you saw this, you would have just been like, what the fuck is this? And now, now that brings me to the ATR, <sighs> which happened yesterday. Okay. The ATR is known for showing off new stuff, new looks at the game, get people hyped up. Continuously, these ATR <laughs> gets worse and worse. And this one, <laughs> oh my God, let me just... All right, so they start off. Okay. The game director, the PR dude, okay. and the translator. Okay. They're talking, and they're okay. like, we can't tell you a release date, but we know a release date in mind. We'll tell you when we can tell you about the release date. So they're like, we'll give you the release date of the release date later. So so I don't get I don't even get the release I don't even get to know when. So what they're going to say is like oh next week we'll tell you when we're going to tell you the release date. So I was like wow right. that's some bullshit. <laughs> that's some fucking Oh my god, they might as well not even have the ATR at that point then. So that, Why would you piss me off and tell me and then that? I was like I was like okay whatever. They do shit like that all the time. So I was like whatever. Who gives a fuck? And they, they were like, don't worry, guys, that wasn't... So when people were bitching about the trailer, they are like, don't worry, that wasn't even the full trailer. That was just like a teaser trailer. 
They need to. Oh, is it, are they, they going to give me a, a release date? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Now, hold on. Now, they clearly need to get a fucking guy who knows how to fucking write their goddamn, like, tweets or whatever the Uh fuck out. Because what they said was completely fucking false. Uh They showed a new gameplay footage. Not trailer. It was gameplay footage. Okay. And it wasn't even great footage. It was of, like, Noctis walking around in new terrain and shit with his party members. And then getting into a swamp area. Okay. And then they're like, oh, what is that? Uh-huh. Goes up to it, and the team member's like, no, don't do it. And then a Marlboro comes out of the ground. And then he's, like, in the mode where he could die if nobody heals him. Uh-huh. And then Marlboro did uh, bad breath. Okay. Game over. They went to the game over screen. That was it. A minute and a half of that. Is it? And then that was at the end, too. So I got ahead of myself and went straight to the fucking end. Wow. But let me go back to the beginning. So they show. So instead of showing the, they're like, yo, let's watch that teaser we just released six hours ago. Or eight, ten hours ago, together. And I was like, you got to be fucking kidding me right now. Like, I don't want to watch this shit. I just watched it and was disappointed. And then they answered. The rest of it was just answering fan questions and pissing us even off even more. Yeah. Like, one of the questions was, how are the air sho- How are the airships going? Or, like, how how's that working out? Because you know how every Final yeah, Fantasy game has, has an airship. airship. Yeah. They're like, oh, we're having problems with it. We're trying to figure it out. We're trying to make it work. It might not, you like, you know, it might not make it in time, which I'm okay with. They could have stopped it right there. You can release it, patch it in, whatever you want. What they say, we might release it as DLC. Fuck you! Wow. All that shit is always Airships, in a. I was like, that's always DLC? in a final. Oh, I was like, that's always in a Final God. Fantasy game. I'm like, how the fuck are you gonna say it's gonna be DLC when they're always in a fucking Final Fantasy game? I was like, Jesus. Well, main title one anyways. I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, and then they were like, um, they moved to something else. I forget what it was. And they are like, that shit might be DLC. And I was just like, shut the fuck up. I'm like, you got to be kidding me right now. I think I think this is where me and Square Enix have to, like, you know, divorce. Oh, oh, <laughs> I dude, think this is the line. It's not even like Hicker, man. I'm like on NeoGAF while watching this shit and watching people get like fucking raging hardcore. <laughs> it's like the funniest shits I've ever read in my life. It's pretty funny. And then what do they do? They announce like, hey, guys, we're making an official Final Fantasy 15 form. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. I'm like, everybody's about to bitch you out for what you guys are showing right now. I'm like, you guys should get ready for that. It's not ready yet. Oh, my God. Are they? Are they? You announced the forum that's not even fucking ready. I'm like, just stop. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> that's what it's like. there, there, there is no words. There is no words. Like, I was just like, what is happening? <laughs> there is no words to explain the amount of the amount like, of shock I am in. I was just like, you're in shock. I watched the shit live. I'm like, what is happening right now? I'm like, I don't even fucking know. And how do they end it after oh, they end all the questions? God. It's like. So they named all the slide, like all the sections by part on the show uh-huh. during the presentation. And they're like, all right, I know you guys didn't give a fuck about this. And the next slide is like, who cares about all this shit? Show us some goddamn gameplay. That's what the next part was called. I'm really? like, were you trolling us the whole fucking time? That's what I was thinking the whole time. <laughs> no, they showed us that minute and a half of Marlboro. And that was the only other footage they showed the whole thing. <laughs> and I was just like, no, they were actually being mad serious right now. And then they're like, obviously, we still can't tell you the release date. Well, they're then like, again, they do have a... a, a- do they have um, a history of being bitched, of being like trolls and terrible and terrible? So, anyways, so. they're like they're finishing up the presentation and they're like, "You can find this. We'll be at Pax Prime at oh, the end of this month." Oh, they're gonna get a riot at Pax Prime. <laughs> they're gonna be at Pax Prime at the end of the month in three weeks, uh-huh. and then uh, in um, Tokyo Game Show in September. And they're like, "We're gonna show the same exact oh, fucking Paris trailer." Too, right? I do not know yet. Okay. They just confirmed PAX Prime in Tokyo for right now. Okay. But anyways, they're like, we're gonna show this exact same fucking trailer. I'm like, not even giving a give us a new one. Oh, <laughs> and they even tell you beforehand. <laughs> yeah. and they're like, you don't have to come. We're showing you the same shit. I was just like, you've got to be fucking kidding me right now. And you know how they ended up? Some fucking lady comes in and drops off two tall glasses of fucking German beer. And they're like, let's toast to like the Final Fantasy 15 or some stupid shit. You know what? And you like, know what? Fuck like, them. And they're like, cheers. I'm just like, now you're doing product placement for German booze? I'm like, go fuck yourself. I'm like, this is the worst <laughs> atrocious shit of my life. So Square Enix, if you hear this, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Like, just seriously? fuck you. You know, today they announced, like, they were like, yeah, we, we understand the gamers, like, you know, their frustration and... 
Like, you know, their Today. worries and yeah. And I'm like, frustration. No, nah, you straight up assholes. I'm yeah. like, how are you going to hype up saying we're going to go media blast? Our main game is Final Fantasy 15 for a Gamescom. And then be like, we can't tell you yet. We can't we'll tell, tell you well, when we can tell you. They said it's going to be media blast. <laughs> you show us the three minute trailer of a dad, uh, which like more than 50% of it is a dad hugging his kid. And then another gameplay section that's uh, him walking in terrain and then getting owned in 20 seconds. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, media blowout. Mm. Mm, but great. they said it starts with Gamescom. They're like, it's going to get even better. I'm like, Okay. Well, which is wait. Which is wait. Yeah, which I was just wait. like, which I was like, wait. each time I hear something from this fucking thing, I was just like, people are going online. They're like, this guy was supposed to save the game. I, 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 think I don't even I think know. He's joined because, you. dude, they changed the main. They changed the character design. They changed the story they up did? a little bit. Yeah. So people are like, is this game taking a step back than rather going forward? Right. Because now people are worried the game's not even close to being done. You know what? I'm not even gonna buy this game now. I have to. I'm probably not gonna buy this game now. Why? I'm gonna get a. No matter how good or bad it is. I'm probably not going to buy this game anymore. You know what? Fuck this game. <laughs> Fuck this game. I I'm going to go back to playing one all the way through 10 again there. <laughs> I'll go to 12. But like, uh, no, but if, if I do that, then I have to play 10-2. You don't need to play 10-2. But that's part of 10. So but I fucking skipped it. I'll skip it, maybe. I got the HD remaster. You maybe know, I'll play 12. I have an HD remaster. 10 is untouched. I have it too. Yeah, and 10 is untouched. But anyways, yeah, I do not blame you for not wanting to get this fucking game. I'll get it maybe like probably like a year after it came out. But the rage was <laughs> fucking real when I was watching uh, this I shit. I can tell. I'm already raging and I didn't even uh, see it live. Yeah, <laughs> dude, you don't even know. <laughs> like, I was just like, I'm like, you don't even know, man. The struggle. I would have killed him if like, I was next to like, him. Because the worst part is D23 is next week. Uh, Disney yeah. Expo. You know what they not, they. they Square Enix confirmed Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be there. Now. Oh, na- na- <laughs> <laughs> if yo, I even get a yo, yo, I bet you they're going to have a fucking trailer of Sora walking around <laughs> somewhere. And then. Oh, my God. The if, it, if it ends up being the same as this Final <laughs> Fantasy 15 fucking fiasco, I think there might be a laptop like broken into pieces and shit. Like, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> Oh, um, man. W- we'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe there is still hope. I don't even know, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> Square Enix. I can't even. Uh, they were my favorite company growing up. Back in the day, yeah. Back growing in, up, they, they made were my good favorite. Games, yeah. Why? Why? Chrono Trigger, Super Chrono Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, Secret of Mana, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy, Star Ocean, everything. Oh. They were All fucking these. awesome. And they and they didn't they did not they did not they made sure to like give you like shit on time what happened they merged squaresoft merged with enix and now it became a shit show yeah oh on that note i remember one news i was gonna say they announced dragon quest 11 oh uh, that i don't know that's another thing square enix did oh dx is our fun game so they're well, no, using no, 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 I know that. No, I'm saying like I don't know about the new. I don't know uh, anything about yeah, the new one. Well, so I have to look at it before I like. Well, uh, like no, this is. Uh, I know very little too. Mm-hmm. I saw some screenshots of it. In the screenshots, it looks like they're using the same assets of Kingdom Hearts three. So I'm a little worried there. Uh, but like, oh, that means it'll take forever. No, but it's still in development, so we'll see how far out it is. All but right. it is a PS4 game. Okay, that's soon. A 3DS game. Okay. And Nintendo NX, the future handheld thing they're working on, their mobile thing. Now. Here's the thing. The PS4 and the other hand, the handheld things have different graphics. I, f- I figured. And the 3DS one is cool. So the top part has like 3D graphics. Uh-huh. The bottom part has 2D old school graphics. Oh. So you get to see. So while you're moving in 3D on the top, it moves on the bottom screen in the 2D version of it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I, was I like, like that. I was like, holy like shit. That. That's and then when you cool. get into combat. You can switch between 3D combat and 2D combat. I'm like, oh, oh cool shit. Oh, I'm shit. like, I'm like, yo, I might just get this on 3DS. I'm like, PS4 will have awesome graphics, but that but fucking that, that's, just that's seems something awesome. Else, yeah. I was that's like, yeah. Some, I was like, oh. Well, we have to see if it's if it's up to like standard. No, there's right? actually video play, gameplay of it. Already. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. It actually it, looks it, pretty. It looks, it looks fucking right, great. It, and it's like, it seems mad that. fluid and seamless. I was just like, might great. have to get that then. But yeah, I mean. So you obviously heard my rage through the end. Um, Hi guys. Well, I don't want to blow a blood vessel. <laughs> so like, a, so we'll end it for today. Um, I, will, I will take Ankit to to 
to do some yoga or some shit. Well, we'll f- fucking figure something out. <laughs> uh, well, we uh, hope you guys enjoyed this week's. And I'll miss you, Gabe. If this is my last week, goodbye. It won't be. You'll I you'll will, you'll see him through Skype. <laughs> I'll see. I'll I'll hope to like talk because, to you. Because uh, I you gotta again. mention that right now too. Podcast will not be releasing on Thursday, starting September. Uh huh. Because everybody's schedule is gonna be changing. Okay. So it will release on a weekend. We'll record on a weekend, definitely. So it might release on a Sunday or Monday mornings. So okay. Look forward to that. So I know on weekends you'll be free. Yeah, weekends I'll be free. So I know you could definitely Skype in on some of those. Probably. Then. So we're we're still working on that. So we'll figure it out. All right, we'll figure it out then. Yep. But until then, keep it classy. Unlike keep me. It geeky. <laughs> All right, guys. Peace out. Peace.